On LinkedIn, when you post an article to Pulse, which is LinkedIn's internal blogging platform, or you post an update, which is sort of a note like, hey, this is what I'm doing, or a link to your own blog or video, whatever, that post or article has the opportunity to show in the newsfeed of your first level connections. So in this video, we're gonna go over the content marketing opportunities on LinkedIn. Welcome back. The first thing that you have to understand is this concept similar to Facebook of the newsfeed. The twist on LinkedIn is that there's two different kinds of items. So a post on LinkedIn is very similar to a post on Facebook. So I share something on LinkedIn. I found this neat article. Check this out. You're connected to me. Therefore, you have the opportunity to see it in your newsfeed. The second item on LinkedIn, which does not exist on Facebook, is this idea of an article where I wrote an article on Pulse, which is LinkedIn's internal platform, and then you have the opportunity to see this. Okay, so let's pop over to LinkedIn. So when I'm logged into LinkedIn, you can see that people are sharing posts and I'm seeing them. So here's a person, Samara. She shared something about the Burlingame Public Library. It's appearing in my news feed as I'm sharing. So as they're sharing, it's showing in my news feed. Now, if someone wrote an article to Pulse, it also has the opportunity uh, to show up here. Now, if you want to see your own posts, you can go click on the me icon and then click posts and activity. And now you can see the things that I'm sharing. So here I shared something, you know, AdWords has changed the budget feature. And if someone is on their newsfeed and they're connected to me, they'll see that. And if they click through, they're going to go to an article I found on this uh, blog, Aquizio, talking about a change in AdWords. So you want to first just wrap your head around this difference between posts and articles and understand this phenomenon very similar to Facebook. Uh, what you post, other people can see. There's another little wrinkle with LinkedIn, which is that the profile, the person, can share either a post or an article, but the page, aka the company, can only share updates or posts. It can't share articles. It can't write to this phenomenon of Pulse, the internal blogging platform. So first wrap your head around this idea. What you're trying to do is share content that's useful to your targets so that they see it in their newsfeed on LinkedIn. Next, let's, let's look at this idea of posts, right? So think about your information creation process. So you've identified your consumer or customer uh, personas so I want to target small business owners. I want people that are interested in marketing to learn and see me as a helpful expert. So I'm going to go kind of dig through all the content on the internet and find interesting articles, either my own or those of others, and I'm going to share them to LinkedIn. This used to be called an update, but they've changed it to a post, similar to Facebook in terms of the nomenclature. Okay, so how does that work? So for instance, I'm going to use Feedly, which is one of my favorite tools to aggregate information, and then I'm going to find some article via Feedly that's target. So in my case, I'm targeting people who are interested in social media, for instance. So let's say I'm you know, reading my Feedly, blah, 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 and I find, oh, here's this article, Dynamic Creative for Facebook Ads. So I'm just going to go to the very bottom in Feedly, and I'm going to pop over to the website. So we'll pretend I've actually read this article. And then what I would recommend doing is shortening that URL. So I use the bit.ly shortener, which I have built in, or you can just copy that long kind of obnoxious URL, go to a shortener like uh, tinyurl.com, paste that obnoxious long URL in here, and then shorten that. So now I've shortened that URL, okay, and I've got that in my memory here. And I know what it is, dynamic creative for Facebook ads, yada, yada. Okay, so then I'm going to pop back over to LinkedIn. I'm just going to go to LinkedIn homepage, so to speak. And then see how it says share an article, photo, video, or idea. I'm just going to write an article here and put dynamic content for Facebook ads. 
check out this interesting new blog post. And then I'm going to paste that URL and LinkedIn is going to pull uh, the visual image and then I'm going to hit post. So now I have found some content of interest to my audience and shared it. Now that could also be content on my own blog, right? So I could go to my own blog and do the same process. It really doesn't matter. It's just that my blog would be my own content. So let's find something I've written on my own blog here. So I've wrote a, a blog post on uh, how I wrote this new book on the passwords, on the password book. Same process, I could copy this, go to tiny URL, paste this in here, copy it and share it to LinkedIn. That's the, that's the idea of sharing a post, sharing a post, somebody else's content, your own content that's external to LinkedIn. And I have links in here so you can check out bit.ly or tinyurl to shorten those URLs. Very simple. Your goal here is to be that helpful expert by curating content, looking through the garbage, looking through all the noise and finding interesting things that are relevant to your target customers. Third, let's look at Pulse. Pulse is LinkedIn's internal blogging platform. So it's a little different. The idea here is that the content production is actually created inside of LinkedIn on the Pulse platform. And LinkedIn wants to grow this, so they give you a little extra oomph. They will promote your article on Pulse not only to your first level connections, but also to people who are not connected to you. So you get this extra way to reach new people by writing informative, useful content on Pulse. So the steps are similar to writing a blog post. You're going to figure out something interesting. You're going to write something interesting. You're going to log into LinkedIn and click on write an article, and then you're going to put that into Pulse and tag it and go through the steps there. And then that will show in your uh, timeline, aka the newsfeed of people connected to you, and LinkedIn will also promote it uh, to other people. So let's go over here to LinkedIn, and I'm just going to show you what I've written. So I'm going to go to me, and I'm going to go to posts and activity, and then I'm going to click on articles, right? These are the things on Pulse, and then you can see here that I wrote an article on how to optimize a LinkedIn profile. And this is internal to LinkedIn. And so then people who are connected to me and even people who are not have the opportunity to read this. So if you're going to create a new one, you just go to LinkedIn and you click write an article and that's going to pop up a blogging platform and you write your headline. It's a little bit better to kind of have pre-written it before you put it into LinkedIn, uh, but you're going to write something beefy. Uh, and interesting. And, and realistically, if you wrote something beefy on your blog, you could really copy and paste it from your blog here and have kind of a little bit of a duplicate content. That would be fine as well. But the concept is this is internal uh, to LinkedIn and you're going to get that extra oomph by sharing it to Pulse. These are supposed to be a little bit beefier, a little bit meatier than just um, what you'd share in an update. Now let's talk a little bit about interactivity, like did this work, like what's going on? And you want to realize that you can see the data in LinkedIn as to who is reading your articles, are they interacting with them? And your goal, of course, is to get that social spread, is to get people to read your content, interact with your content, and you're using LinkedIn to sort of build your brand. Uh, so now we want to see like what's going on, like what's our interactivity? All right, so on LinkedIn, it's pretty simple. You click on the me icon, you go down to posts and activity, and I'm in the free version, so it's pretty simple. And then just look, just the easiest thing to do really is just to scroll down and you can see here, you gotta give it a little time of course, but you can see here that this article that I post and shared on AdWords, changes to AdWords, that you can see there's 47 views and you can click on that and then LinkedIn will give you statistics as to who looked at it and what's going on. So you're able to kind of go through your own timeline and look at your articles and see like what were the things you shared that got a lot of content. See, this one got 74 and one like, so it did a little bit better. And this is an article I shared about predictions. And you get you know some data about what's going on 
with that. So you're looking at, you know, are they liking it? Are they commenting? Are they sharing it? Where are they from? Are they your targets? That's for your posts. Now, when you click on articles, you can also do the same thing. So you can go through, and this one's been old. This was older, and it kind of hit the right vibe in the culture. This is when they had that terrible uh, uh, incident on United when they threw that passenger off. It was just a big mess. So you can click here, and then you can see that this got 1,500 views, 30 reshares, 17 comments, 167 likes. This did really well. And then I can get a lot of data about who was interacting with this content that I posted to Pulse. It shows me, you know, timely content uh, really works well on Pulse. So you get some good statistics about what's going on in terms of your interactivity. So to kind of wrap this up, you want to realize you're going to engage in content marketing on LinkedIn, and you're going to share posts or articles, and then you're going to you know, do your best to get interactivity for those. And remember, LinkedIn is a team sport. So it's not just you as the marketing manager or you as the business owner. You want to get your key employees to be doing this and then use your company page, especially because it can advertise <clears throat> to accelerate the interactivity and the shares on LinkedIn. So that, my friends, is a very short expose on how to produce content for LinkedIn that can help you with your LinkedIn marketing.